wow, wow. Part four, finally. Okay, these are all these journals. I've got them pretty much done. This tassel just needs, I need to add the beads to this tassel. So this is what I've come up with. These are all going in uh, my art exhibit at the library along with a bunch of other stuff. And um, again, I apologize for taking such a long time to get this part four out. But here we are, and here it is. So I'm going to show you, I've got six of these, and I'm going to show you all of them. And a lot of them have the same stuff in them. A couple of them vary. But uh, this one here, you know, this is so funny what happened with this journal. And it's the exact reason that I do art, that I live for art, that art just is such a big part of my life. Um, when I got this one completed, I it gave me chills to hold it. And I held them all, and I completed them all, and I love them all. But this one really spoke to me on some kind of weird tribal level. So I'm keeping this one for me, and um, I've already written in it. And then see, I've got my little feather charm here and I've made a video on how to make these they're really easy and really fun and if you don't have access to your own feathers I get mine at Hobby Lobby because I do not have access I don't have chickens or anything so you can get a lot of really beautiful feathers at Hobby Lobby and then I did one of my boho beads here and I've got a tutorial on this on my process of how to make these and then I just put a bunch of other little fun little tribal style beads these are lava beads right here and these are little wood carved beads and you can get an abundance of these wood carved beads at Michael's but um, I get my beads from all over the place, so I do want to show you this and go through this. And then for the rest of them, I'm going to flip through them and play music, but I'm going to tell you where I got everything out of this book real quick, okay? So I've got some Artie Mays, quite a bit of Artie Mays stuff in here, just little journal cards. And then these are from just a little book I got at Goodwill that I coffee stained the pages. I've already started to write in this one and do a little bit of doodling at the bottom. And it's just about, you know, spiritual food every day and just a little reminder. But these journals are meant to be used, you know. And then remember in one of the previous parts I went through how to make these cute little pockets. And then another book page is in there. There's tons of journaling space in these books. These are little pages out of a botanical book that I got on eBay. And I threw the cover out. But you can find just amazing botanical books if you look online. You can really find an abundance. Um, Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals has a video on the books she uses and um, I just saw that Susan Taylor Brown has a couple videos on that too. So there's a couple of resources for you and maybe I'll do one of those in the future. I got these little uh, vintage postcards I got a bunch of different ones. They're little post notes, like a little antique postcard, and I coffee stained them. I got all these at an auction. I get a lot of stuff at auctions, and then this is Artie Mays here. Another book page, and I just did some stenciling. This is a Prima stencil I got on eBay, and it comes with the whole kit of these little strip stencils. This is one of my little eco dye journal pages and you can just journal on all these. Now these little pieces, this is not the best example, but I have a stack of wallpaper sample paper. Um, I was lucky enough to get my hands on them and you can totally write on the back of these. So I filled these books with this wallpaper samples. And you'll see a bunch of them. I'm not going to pull everything out. 
And then these are from the old design shop, these little ladies. And I think you get nine to a page. And I just adore these little post, you know, just these little, they make great little side pockets. All I did was glue them. And then these were some bookmarks I got at uh, Hobby Lobby. I just coffee stained them for a little journal sheet there. All kinds of scrapbook paper in these. Here's a better example of that wallpaper uh, paper. And I just thought they were really fun and a cool graphic element to these books. And then this here is the old design shop as well from Etsy. <clears throat> you can find Artie Mays on Etsy. You can find me on Etsy, Art Archaeologist. You can find the old design shop. So I just love to use, I love digital paper. So there's the first signature. Oh yeah, let me show you real quick. I've got three signatures for every book. I think you guys knew that from previous. And then here I just left the stitching open, of course. And then I safety pinned the tassel on, which I'll go over at the end. So there's signature one. And then these are old design shop little cards here. Another book page. I love this scrapbook paper. I got all these scrapbook papers out of packs from Hobby Lobby and I just don't keep my covers. I tear my papers apart. I use them, which is the most important thing you could do. Use your stuff. And when I tore into a lot of these. I didn't have my YouTube channel, so I didn't. it didn't even occur to me to keep the covers. And now I forget. I just keep forgetting. So, oh, forgive me. Here's a cute little Artie Mays Dragonfly Pocket and some wallpaper samples and a little snippet of an eco die that I did. One of my very first kits. I love to eco die. I've got a lot of tutorials on it. And each little book got a little paper clip like this. And then these are some, I got these cards at Tuesday morning. And they're really just these pretty little cards. And then I coffee stained them and took my little lid and spun it with coffee. And I coffee stained the envelopes. Every book, every one of these gets the little envelope with the card and the paper clip. Here's some more old design shop and a little journal card. This is a pocket. Um, I made these, uh, these are envelopes I got at Hobby Lobby and in my coffee staining tutorial I show you how to do these. I just tore this <laughs> and I'm okay with how it looks. This journal is also getting one of these bookmarks here as well. Um, and I've got a tutorial on this. This is the Autumn Leaf Bookmark Tutorial. There's a couple of bookmark tutorials. There's this one and Shabby Chic Bookmarks. So we've got that in there. Every book gets a bookmark. I love bookmarks. I love to make them. I love to use them. This paper is so fun. It's so Moroccan looking to me. I've got such an eclectic mix of paper in these. Here's another wallpaper sample journal card and an Artie Mays pocket. Little design shop pocket. This is a little paper clip that I didn't finish but I wanted it in this book and I have this little paper clip embellishment tutorial as well. Oh, I didn't realize until I started talking about it how many of my tutorial, how much of my stuff that I have tutorials on are in these journals. Another little wallpaper sample. Really fun. Some more of those. I did those in the same video, the paper clip embellishments. Some more of that Moroccan style paper. These are so fun. I love these now. I just glued this one down 
for a beautiful element. This is Artie Mays and her dragonflies I adore. I love the dragonflies. I'm doing one of those frames for this art exhibit I've got coming up. I'm using Artie Mays dragonflies to embellish it so I will show you that in a, in a video in the near future. It is now Thursday, August, like, I don't know, 22nd. I have, I'm putting everything in Sunday after this coming. So that video will be up within the next couple weeks for sure. Here's some more of that. Another Artie Mays pocket. Dragonfly pocket. Just so fun. This book spoke to me. So I am keeping it. <laughs> and then a little, that little, each, each book gets two of these little sack pockets in them. This paper, I am in love with this paper, and I can't remember which uh, paper kit I got it out of, but I know it is from Hobby Lobby, one of the kits I got there. And then this is an old design shop, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it is. Another little paper clip embellishment. I really love this little bird, how it came out on with this wood paper and then this pretty coffee stain. It just kind of all fell together nicely. The pretty botanical scrapbook paper. The middle of the last signature. Some more wallpaper. Old design shop. I love these ladies. They are so cute. Another little paper clip embellishment. Artie Mays postcard with some wallpaper, journaling card. I left so much room in these and I love that because I really like to write a lot and I intend on filling this book. I made these, these are the cutest little envelopes I got these at Hobby Lobby. They come with cards too, but I wanted to just go ahead and put a little this is Tim Holtz scrapbook paper, and I can't remember which kit it's from, but just a little card in the envelope, and very, very grungy. And then this is a napkin. I made some napkin embellishments a while back and came across them, so I put a few in. Every um, book gets one of those. Okay, so we're at the end of this one. And then another little envelope with it. This one has the actual card in it. A little bird nap. These are both napkins. I had such a blast making these, but they were a ton of work. I couldn't even believe how I would get one thing done and I, the, the looming stuff I had to do after that, it was like one thing after another. But they, I really am happy that I made them and put in the effort because they came out so beautiful. So here's another one of my eco dies and I just cut it with a border and I liked, I love to use, I have a little pair, they're around here somewhere. Of, I have deckled edge scissors that I use. Here they are. And they've just, they just cut a deckle edge for you. And then I have um, a deckled edge ruler too. So I have a couple ways to accomplish this. And it gives you a little bit more control than just actually tearing the paper. So that's how I did that. Okay, and then here's the back. It's just painted and stained with ink. And then here's the tassel. So there's that one. So now that I've told you where I got everything from, I'm just going to go ahead and play some music and show you the rest. Here we go.
So those are the journals. I hope you guys liked them. I really enjoyed making them. And I'm just going to show you real quick how I do my tassels. I've got a couple pieces of string here of yarn. Nice brown thick wool yarn. And then I've got a bunch of pieces of sari silk that I uh, tore down to make them thinner. And you just want to get all your little elements together relatively the same length. Sorry, silk really frays. And then this is a little piece of a uh, seam binding that I uh, hit with my vintage photo ink and distressed it. So here I've got all these together. And then I bought these safety pins. I got these on eBay and I got gold a bronze color and a black and this is how they look really cute little round safety pins and I like them because they're long so you can put them at the top of a book and then they've got this nice round area to fit all of your fibers this is some alpaca yarn I got uh, my sister used to raise alpacas and she spins yarn and does a lot of crocheting and knitting. Uh, so we're both very creative but totally different mediums. But I got this one day when I was with her. And so it's really soft and a very nice kind of yarn. This works really great for what I'm going to do with it. So I take a pretty substantial piece. Again, I don't measure that I'm going to open up my safety pin and you want to make sure that you have if you like to do the bead work that you've just got big enough beads that will fit into your fibers and then I just put all these on my safety pin inside the pin and close it up just like so so now they're all loose in there it's easier to just feed them all in there together at once. Then you want to check and make sure your length is good. I like to offset mine a little, have one a little shorter than the other side. And then you just want something that's going to not break on you and be able to go tight. This And this is just how I do it. There's so many ways to do it and there's so many videos. So you want to hold all these together and then I just grab a hold of this and I start winding this uh, alpaca yarn and sometimes you'll of course have to straighten your safety pin. I really cut an extra long piece of this for this very reason. So I did this side quite a bit, see that? And I've got a bunch left over. So now I'm going to hold it on this end and I'm going to take the other end and I'm going to wrap it the opposite way. And all you have to do is just go the way that it's set up for you to go. Okay. And again, I'm wrapping a bunch because I like the look of this. And I want this to be very close to even to the other one in length. Alright, and then... You just want to set it all down. I want to take this and kind of get it down here. There we go. And then just tie it in a knot. That's all I do. I tie once and twice and then you've got an extra element to your tassel those just become part of it that side's a tad long so that's how I make my tassels and then I just make sure I have beads that are large enough to go over the string and another thing you can do I have these little boho beads here here's something I do an awful lot just fish it onto a actually take these two and tie a knot 
Then you can kind of secure this little boho bead where you want it or anything else you want to put on these. So I've got a knot and I've got two of these. So that you just take your little boho bead, string it on there, and then take both strings together again and tie another knot. Now that makes it so that this bead has a little bit of play but only so much. So it's that way you can control where you've got stuff on your tassel. So thanks for stopping by today and I hope you enjoyed this flip through. And in the future when I do um, videos that have several parts to them, I will, I promise, I will make sure to have them all done together so that you don't have to wait to see them, okay? So thanks again for stopping by and have a great day.